Nestled right on the shorelines of Clinton lies a building full of character and lobsters. It started as just a live market in uh, 97, started selling hot dogs in 2001, and then a couple years later added the lobster roll to the menu. From there, people had the lobster rolls and it just took off, and we've just been growing ever since. Lobster Landing has been named one of the Connecticut icons when it comes to the famous warm butter and lemon lobster roll. People would come down and they're like, oh, did you see um, you're in this flight brochure on all these like Delta flights or something? I was like, wow, really? I didn't even know that. And people like, oh, did you see you're on the news last night or you're in this article? And it's just crazy that that many people just really appreciate what we do. Now co-owners Angela Miranda and Rachel Stepankis say Lobster Landing was their first job more than a decade ago. Now it's become home. People can't come here without taking a picture of the building or taking pictures in front of the building. People come down for their Christmas cards and stuff. Um, but people just love the atmosphere and the ambiance that the restaurant gives. So it's a great place to eat and enjoy your lunch. The menu is limited with a quality over quantity approach. We have hot lobster rolls, which is the main selling point. People come for the lobster rolls. Uh, we also offer sausage and pepper onion grinders, um, Hummel's hot dogs. We have clam chowder and lobster bisque for soups. And then we have a house salad. And for sides, we have coleslaw, bags of chips, and canned drinks. And each item is done with flavor in mind. The roll is just perfect. The consistency, the way it toasts on the grill, the lemon, the butter, um, all fresh. And just the fact that we use the claw, knuckle, and tail in the lobster. So the tail meat really makes it that much better. And just when you thought it couldn't get any better, many of the lobsters often come from the docks only a few feet away. We try to keep everything as local as we can. So lobsters, the small ones, pound and a quarter, pound and a half, so we'll get from the sound. Anything above two pounds, we have to go a bit more north and get from like Maine and Canada. But we try to keep everything local. They say things have ran the same way for years, and they're thrilled to carry on the delicious lobster roll tradition.